Nah, for real though, everybody wants a big ass until they become the ass. Yes, there's a dark side to having a big booty and I would know. So let's talk about it. What's up, Wildcats? It's your girl, Laura Laura, and I am here with my new show called Real Conversations. So this show actually used to be called Virgo Reviews, but I don't like the idea of saying reviews, so I was I just changed it to Real Conversations because the things I want to talk about is real, and I want to be real and transparent and talk about real shit, like spirituality, pop culture, mental health everything like let's talk about it anyways so i've been thinking about this topic that i want to talk about today for a very long time and it's the epidemic of bbls which is brazilian butt lifts the epidemic of bbls and just the idea of like wanting a big booty with a small waist and of course this thing has been highlighted this trend has been highlighted by rap music videos for a very long time but with social media it's but with social media it's rocketed to like next level to the point that even planes that land in miami could be f full of all bbl patients which is which is actually very insane to me you know along with this trend that everybody's getting surgery there's also the tr this trend of people on youtube making videos about it and commentary about it and i haven't really seen anyone adding this perspective to the you know to the conversation so i figured let me add this perspective and the perspective is there's a dark side to having a big booty and a lot of women do not talk about this i don't know if they really reflect on this i'm not sure because you know obviously look i have a big booty i was born with it you know i have a curvy body um I, you look at me, I look very slim. I guess you call it slim thick. So I'm slim and then I turn around and it's like, whoa. Yeah, that's my body type. Um, and as you can see, I don't have a perfect body. I have stretch marks all over, I have scars. Like that's another video. But um, with that being said, I love my body. My body is very curvaceous, um, very beautiful. I'm sorry, there's like constructions going on and I really needed to get this video done. But yeah, like my body is very curvaceous, you know, just beautiful. It's like the divine feminine, you know, I'm not saying y'all that don't have curvy bodies, don't have divine feminine bodies, but at the same time, to me, my body personifies the divine feminine. But now in today's culture, being curvy is basically defined as being sexy and a lot of women want to be sexy. You know, they say, oh, I want to be sexy for myself. I want to be sexy for myself. But it's like, uh, no, like yes and no, right? There's, there's a pressure of why we want to be sexy. Um, we want to be seen as beautiful. Beauty has currency. That's another video, you know, with the whole pretty privilege. That's also body privilege. So ableism and being able to have all your limbs and not have any injuries having a healthy body there's a privilege in everything right so beauty comes with privilege and having a nice body comes with privilege it comes with wanting a certain attention and validation so a lot of women now are getting bbls because they see it on social media they see it as okay that's what the rap videos are talking about okay that's what the guys want and every time you know we see this girl like especially with j-lo that was like the late 2000s. No, that was like the early 2000s. And then now Kim Kardashian, and you see them prospering in their industry, you know, and quote unquote, changing beauty industry, um, which is insane because having a curvy body is associated with blackness, but it's kind of like now everybody's picking the certain body types that they want. It's like, okay, I want a big butt. I want big lips, but I don't want the, the broad nose that comes with blackness. I don't want the skin that comes with blackness. I damn sure don't want the hair. So I just want this one, this one. This. We're just picking and choosing what we want in terms of body, you know, body parts. It's kind of like we're just going to the grocery store. I'm on one. I'm I, this one. I want the leg. I want the thighs. I want the 
you know, that's what's happening. So let me look at my notes here so I don't lose track. You know, back in the olden days, you know, back in like, let's say the Greek days, um, there was a certain body type you could see in the monument and the statues and everything, the paintings, you could see, you know, cause Europeans are very open with nudity. You could see the nudity, the type of body parts on a woman that was um, celebrated. It was, you know, pretty thick, had a gut, small titties, I don't know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Then even parts of the world, you go to Africa, there's a certain body type that's seen as beautiful. So there's different body types that are just celebrated. But like I said, right now, having a big butt, an extremely big butt, which it just looks insane. Like some of these pictures that I've seen looks insane. There are, um, you know, women getting extreme big butts, tiny waist, you know, getting sucked fat out, suck fat out. They're getting um, fat sucked out of their stomachs, put in their butt and just like extreme, like for me, it's like, okay, do what you gotta do to feel good about yourself. But it gets to a point where it, there, to me, there's a line. And I feel like a lot of people are crossing the line and risking their lives for this aspect of beauty, right? For this idea of beauty, but then it's like, when you do have that beauty, there are implications that comes with it. When you do have that body, there are implications that comes with it. And for someone that has that body, I just want to tell y'all from my perspective, all my life, what I've dealt with just by having a big butt. Number one is you're seen as sexy. So your body is seen as just sexualized like it's a like a means to an end right so if you're far away like i've had examples where from when i was a kid i've had people call me sexy which is pretty weird being a kid but because my body was very curvaceous um even as a kid you know i would have guys stopping your cars like I remember when I was 13 I was walking this very long distance I had this guy stop their car and ask me hey hey how old are you and you know what was funny is that around that time I was being bullied for being ugly because of my skin but it was interesting because now you have a guy that's just stopped asking me my name and guys didn't want to talk to me like that because they thought I was ugly in South LA like where I grew up but because they saw my butt first nothing else mattered and it was like nothing else mattered it was just a means to an end it aroused them my body is like okay you know she got a big butt let me see what it do you know maybe i could hit and that's all so basically when you have curvy body you're just seen as an object like you're objectified and you know like i was saying having a curvy body is really associated with you know black women it's not all black women that have big butts like naturally but uh, it's predominantly associated with blackness and this being seen as sexy really hurts black women the most because we're not we, we don't we're not allowed duality and complexity when it comes to our identities Ooh, that was like bar <laughs> okay we're not allowed complexities like it's like you know, you see now in our music industry, it's like, okay, sexy, you're just sexy, right? You're not quirky, you're not like a Taylor Swift where you could sing about, you know, your love story and things like that. It always has to be associated with sex. I'm really sorry for the background noise. Like, this is everyday construction going on, so it's either I do the video or I don't. So yeah, like, it hurts black women the most because, you know, you have people who are just objectifying you. And it's, it's, we draw this all the way back to history, back to Sarah Bartman, who was a South African woman who was literally taken and put in a cage, right? She didn't have much choice. When you hear her story, she actually had agency in choosing if she wanted to do this but at the same time she didn't have money and it was a time where you know in south africa there was a lot going on in terms of racial um like tension um this was way back sarah bartman was taken to europe put in cages in, in, in circus traveled around the world and basically was you know 
was just looked at like in awe, but at the same time looked at as animalistic. And at the same time, she was just objectified. Even when to the point that when she died, her bodies were taken to be examined as if she wasn't human, which was just crazy, you know? Yes, it's nice to be seen as sexy, but at the same time, like, especially for me, like, I'm nerdy, I'm quirky, yes, I'm sexy, I'm beautiful, I'm also vulnerable, I'm very, I'm nice, like, I'm corny. There's so many things that comes with my personality other than sexy, so when guys are like, oh, hey, I like you, it's like, okay, no, you don't like me, you just see my body and you're like, you're interested, you're lusting, which is fine, but lust from afar, leave me alone. But you know, when you have that kind of body, it comes with negative energy, you know, with the examples that I've given you and just my life experiences in general, because of having a big, um, big butt and being seen as sexy, I've had um, trauma, you know, sexual trauma throughout my life because people either were attracted to me and they, they shouldn't have been because they perceived me as being sexy and a sexual object even way before I really understood the scope and, and understood my sexuality, if that makes sense. And I'm, st I'm still on that journey. In addition to attracting negative energy in terms of guys, it also attracts negative energies in terms of girls and women. Like women start to hate on you. Like if, <laughs> Not all women, because you have women who just admire and will compliment you. Like my friend Rose, she's just like, you know, got that Ghana, Ghana booty and, you know, the Ghana body, whatever. She just compliments me. You have women who do that, but there's also a lot of women. That's why there is the epidemic of BBLs. Like women who do desire that because they want to be desired by men. They want to be seen as desirable and beautiful and sexy and all of that and validated in that sense. So they see you as a threat. Like they just look at you and they start to get envy and whether it's envy and jealousy, whatever that it might be, um, just because you have this body type. Like I've had, let me tell you, I have had a lot of life experiences at my 25 years. Okay. I remember one time I was just kayaking with my friend. I actually have a vlog on my YouTube about this, but we're kayaking with my friend, um, at Big Bear and we meet these girls while we're kayaking. They're also kayaking and they're basically, we're just like, you know, being friendly. We start talking to them. We're like, yo, we should link up. Cause one of them's birthday was like that day. So we should link up and just drink and chill. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were so witty until we got to the shore <laughs> and I got out the kayak, look. And that donkey donk. Scared, I, it scared that girl. Like I saw her looking, like her eye, like in her side eye, I saw her looking and I was like, bruh, like this is insane. So to the point that even later they were supposed to hit us up and they never hit us up. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if it's because they got intimidated or whatever that it might be. Cause when you meet certain people, you get certain energy, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't get a confident energy and a content energy, you could feel it. Like it just what it is, you know? So maybe I'm assuming, but at the same time, I saw what I saw and I saw her eyes. Okay. So that's just an example of like the type of, you know, envy that you might attract just because you have a big butt and that can cause very like nasty tension with you. It could cause nasty tension with you connecting with women in general because they see you as someone like a competition, a threat. Like if they go out with you, you're gonna get more attention than them, if that makes sense. Um, so second, so a second implication or second negative that comes with having a big butt is that it becomes a personality type. Just like how some people be like, I'm light skin. I'm light skin, I'm light skin, and that becomes a personality type and they think they're better and that being a light skin is like just a personality. Having a big butt, if you're not like well-rounded, becomes a personality, you just rely on that. Like I know a girl who just relies on just having a nice body, like even when she takes pictures, real shit, she don't show her face ever. It's all her booty, all her butt. And that really is very damaging because then you start to obviously look at yourself from the male gaze, right? Everything you do now becomes like for the man and the male gaze. 
and you're not really just, you're not well-rounded. Like as said before, like you could be quirky, but you don't develop that personality. You damn near could be corny and funny, but you don't develop that personality because you just rely on the fact that you have a big butt. You know what I'm saying? Or you could be like, oh, I have a big butt, so I'm better than most girls. Like for me, I was like a tomboy growing up. So, you know, yes, I love fashion. I love dressing up, but I love climbing trees. Like I love playing soccer. That's why I went crack up my knees open. But, you know, like I love these things that I didn't necessarily rely on, like, my body but at the same time like my sexual energy is not just my body it's something that is very deep inside of me you know it's something that i exude so <sighs> so that that could be very very damaging the fact that it could just be a personality type right it messes up it messes up with your self-image like you know, and your self-esteem in the long run, like it just does. I don't know what other way to explain it when you just rely on one aspect of you, especially just your body and don't explore other parts of you and your interests. Like it just, listen y'all, it just hurts your personality. It does. Okay. And, um, so three, having a big booty, um, you know, it kind of intertwines with the re the the ones that I mentioned before. Like, it's hard for you to find a style other than being sexy. Like for me, I could wear something and it's like, oh, sexy. Unless I'm wearing very baggy clothes. Sometimes, like you know, it's hard finding jeans. But you know, I'm on the th I'm on the slim side of having a big booty, so it's easier for me to find outfits. But yeah, like anything you wear is just seen as sexy, even when you're not trying to be. Um, and that could be like an implication that just, you know, comes with it. So I think that, I think I kind of covered everything. Um, yeah, I think I kind of covered everything. And obviously, you know, we can learn from singers like Kay Michelle who went and even though she had a a butt already she went to the extreme and got you know butt surgery and it gave her lupus it affected her health so there's that aspect that comes with getting a surgical enhancement especially to your butt and you know to a place like that in the long run it starts affecting you in ways that you wouldn't even like imagine and to the point that it costs you more to stay alive than it would if you just kept your natural body. That's why for me, I'm more so of like embrace your natural self. And yes, I'm not a, against enhancement. Like I'll meet guys that are like, oh, why are you wearing lashes? I thought you were natural. I'm like, no one is ever natural. Okay. We, we, nothing is ever natural. So I'm not against doing things to enhance your beauty, but at the same time, I'm also not like, but I'm also against going to the extreme to change who you are and your identity completely. What's up, y'all? So I just want to add some last thoughts to the video. Um, I just want us to think about how, yeah, when it comes to body shaming, we talk a lot about, like, um, people on the bigger side, you know, quote unquote fat people and fat shaming. Um, but honestly, People with curvy bodies could also face body shaming, um, especially for women or from women. Um, I've seen many instances where, like even for example, a teacher went viral where people were like, why is she wearing what she's wearing? You know, there's kids and da 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 da. And it's like, you know, you can see this woman's body, she was very voluptuous. And it's kind of like, even if she was wearing sweats, like she will be showing okay even if she was wearing sweats and that reminds me of my my grandma like whatever she wears you could tell like that she's a voluptuous woman so there is a sense of body shaming that comes with having a curvy body and you almost feel uncomfortable to the point that it's like 
oh, like you, just the fact that you're seen as just a sexual object, you start to kind of disassociate with yourself. It's a deep rooted thing um, where you start to feel ashamed and all of that stuff. Even the, I did a video about Chloe Bailey and how she started to embrace her body and her curves more. And people were like, oh, she's seeking attention or whatever, you know? And sometimes people embracing their curves and their sexuality and curviness um, really might be annoying to us because, you know, it might not be our taste or how we would express it. For example, Megan Thee Stallion and people who are very um, raunchy, whatever. Like, it doesn't always work for everybody, but at the end of the day, we still have to respect people and how they choose to express themselves and their journey on how they choose to um, express themselves. So I just wanted to add that touch, um, you know, just think about it. Like, yeah, it's a privilege, okay? It's a privilege to have a beautiful body, but at the same time, there's also cons that comes with it. And there's also challenges and just journey and just the ups and downs of accepting yourself even when you attract such negative energy. Um, and just to add to the whole like black women being affected um, the most, you know, um, black women are also and black girls are affected at a very, very young age where um, our sexual trauma rates are really high. Like you know very high and it's 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 ridiculous so um i just wanted to add those thoughts just those last thoughts i probably have more thoughts um in regards to the subject but this is i guess just part one so yeah with that being said thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe comment below and add to the conversation it's your girl laura laura here with real conversations peace and love until next time. Bye.